Okay guys, so today we're going to talk about how to do system of equations completely on the calculator. So before we actually show you with this on this calculator, I'm going to go ahead and we have to do a little bit of work, all right? Because all of our equations have to be in this form. We have to have the x first, the y second, uh, the z term third, and then this d would be a constant, all right? So for example, on this first one right here, Notice you have the x and the y, but I also have to have the z on this side. So I'm going to have to add uh, z to each side. And that would give me 2x minus 7y plus z is equal to 0. Notice that that right there is 0. Okay. Now similarly, on the next few parts, what you have to do, and I'm going to rewrite this one over here to make it more clear. Right. You really have your choice right here. You can either subtract those two terms from left and right, or you can subtract the y from both sides. And just to make my work a little bit easier, I'm going to subtract y from both sides. Okay, now it's important to note that you have to write this in alphabetical order. So x goes first, the y term goes second, and then the z term goes third. All right, so right here I'm going to write x minus y plus 2z is equal to 6. All right, notice that the third term, this is already in the form that we wanted, which is x, y, and z is equal to 6. So we're going to write 3x plus 3y plus 3z is equal to 6. Okay, so now... What we're going to do on here, so the next few steps, everything else is going to happen in the calculator. Now, in case you have any questions, we actually wrote, or whoever wrote this lesson, wrote every single step you need to do in the calculator. Okay, so I'm going to show you that from the very start. I would always suggest to start uh, to press second plus 712, and then that way at least your uh, RAM is cleared. And then the first thing we're going to do, if you look at your instructions, it says on your calculator, pr push second matrix. Right? So we're going to push second, which is the blue button. And then we're going to go to matrix, which is this key right here. So again, second, and then that key. And you should be on that menu that looks like this. All right. Now on a step number three, it tells you to go to the right to edit. So we're going to go to the right twice, where we're on edit. We're going to push enter. And then now we're going to change that, that matrix A, to say 3 by 4. Notice that right now it says 1 by 1. So we're going to change that to 3 by 4. So we're going to change that to 3 by 4. We're going to press Enter. And now on step number 5, it says enter the coefficients of your variables and constants. Each row represents an equation, and each column represents a variable. It's very important that all equations are in standard form. All right, so standard form is what we just talked about up here. So notice that that's the whole reason I did this part. So the coefficient of x for the first one is 2, so press 2, press enter. Okay, for the second one, you're going to press negative 7, press enter. Notice that, that z is by itself here. That's a 1. All right, so we have 1z right here. So we're going to put a 1, and then we're going to press enter. Now the fourth term is going to be that 0. So right here, so we're going to type in a 0, press enter. It takes us back to the beginning, all right? So now we're, I'm on the second equation. X is 1. Y is negative 1. Uh, Z is 2. Is it, that's where I'm getting that from. And then finally, the fourth term is 6. Press Enter. And then finally, for the last row, you're going to write 3, 3, 6. Sorry, 3, 3, 3, 6. So 3, enter, 3, enter, 3, enter, and then the number 6, okay? Now, now that you have done that, okay, now that you have enter everything, you're going to press second, and then the quit key, which is the mode, so again, second mode, which makes you quit that screen completely. So now I just finished that step number six. Now step number seven is to press second matrix again. So if you press second matrix, you should be able to see that. 
And then now we're going to go over once, and that's step number eight. We're going to go over once where it says math. Now you're going to scroll down or scroll up, it doesn't matter. But my point is, you have to get to the option where it says RREF, which is this one. Okay, so it's option B here. You're going to press enter. All right, so now we're on step 10. Now you're going to go back to second matrix again. So please don't press anything here other than second. And then we're going to press that button, which is matrix. All right, you should be on that right there. Now it's talking about this matrix, matri matrix I'm sorry. And that is true. So we're going to press enter. You should be on that screen now. So this this right here, this RREF is a matrix function, so make sure that you have to have a matrix inside that function. And then if you press enter again, you should have an answer that looks like this. Now if it doesn't look like this, probably what happened was that you didn't enter the coefficients correctly at the beginning. All right, So make sure that it does look like that. So it turns out that what happens, that what happens here is if you have Let me move this out of the way. This first one is going to be a negative 2. The second row is going to be 0. And the third one is going to be z is equal to 4. All right, so those are my answers for that system of linear equations. All right, it's a lot easier right, than what we've been doing. Um, OK, uh, if I went too fast, make sure to come back and uh, re-listen to this again. You can either ask this up to rewind if you like or you can watch this on YouTube yourself. All right, my point is that this should be relatively easy, right? So let me go over a few of your homework problems, all right? So I'm gonna do one real fast. So I'm gonna do this one, but this one's gonna be almost full speed. So if you can follow, so number one, they wanna know the answer for this. Notice that this is already in standard form. Right, we have x, y, and z, x, y, and z, x, y, and z. Okay, so it looks like I'm good. If it doesn't look like that, then you're going to have to work on it a little bit. Like, for example, number six, you have to subtract y from both sides. Okay, now I'm going to go back to this one. So I'm still here. You can clear it off if you want to. I'm, I'm not going to do that. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go second matrix again. I'm going to go over to edit. This is already in 3, 4. Okay, and I'm going to type in all these numbers right here. So we have, well, let me start like I didn't. Let me start from the very beginning. Let's see if, making sure we understand where we're at. So again, we're going to press second matrix, which is that button right there. We're going to go over to edit. We're going to change that to a three by four. Okay, now on here, on this, you're supposed to write the coefficients in standard form. So this would be a two. This would be a 1. This is going to be a negative 3. This is a negative 1. Okay. Now I'm back in here, so this is a 3. This is a 3. This is a negative 1 right here. Notice this is just negative y, but I can actually write the coefficient as negative 1. This is a 2. This is a 4. This is a 1, 2, negative 1, 5. Okay, so I know I went through that pretty fast, but if you don't see a number beside the letter, that's an automatic one, okay? So now, the second part that follows that, if you were able to uh, be with me so far, you're going to press second, uh, quit, and you're going to press second matrix again. So again, second, that button right there, matrix. Go over to math. And you're going to scroll down or scroll up, it doesn't matter, until you see RREF, which is that option. And you're going to press enter. And then right here, you're going to go back again to second matrix. Oops. Second matrix. And then just press enter twice. Now the answer is 132. All right, so 132. Let's see which one has that one three two and it has to be in that order right it has to be x is one y is three z is two so this is m okay so m is 
what goes here, and that's what you have to put everywhere you see a 1. It turns out you only have a 1 right here. Okay, if you do it like this for all of these, you're going to find out what the answer is going to be for each one of these. Um, you can also look at the back. Uh, there's plenty of problems. I know there's a lot of problems, but this is very quick. All right, once you, there's got to be some muscle memory that's developed by you. Anyway, um, I don't know if I'm doing this when I'm gone or in the dead I come back. However, if you got any questions, let me know. And uh, we'll see you next time.